Zach Trotman and his wife Gina met while they were student athletes at Lake Superior State University in Michigan. Zach played hockey and Gina volleyball and they were both naturally competitive. So it's no surprise that competition remains a big part of their relationship. We have everything, like everything. <laughs> We've had a eight year long Uno battle going with cards uh, that gets pretty intense. So uh, yeah, I mean, anything we can find to be competitive with, we pretty much butt heads over. One thing they didn't butt heads over was picking a wedding date back in 2017. Choosing the date wasn't a problem, but the fact that it landed on the first day of NHL free agency added a unique twist to their special day. That was the date that we had wanted, um, July 1st, 2017. Um, so we kind of knew going into it that there might be some phone interference. Thanks, Steve. Thank you, Steve. Thanks, Steve. Thanks, Steve. Steve. Thanks, Steve. Steve. Thanks, Steve. 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 Man, Steve. Yeah. We're going to Pittsburgh. Yeah. Three P. Three P. Thankfully, didn't go up during the ceremony. It went off right after, so uh, it was really exciting. It was cool, you know, have all my my close friends and uh, you know, obviously my now wife um, right there when we did that. Sports are still a major part of their lives. In addition to Zach's hockey career, Gina is a sports director for a TV station in Michigan, NBC 25. With Zach chasing down opposing forwards and Gina chasing down the top stories, finding time to spend with each other can be quite a challenge. With her schedule, she you know obviously works pretty crazy hours. She's usually gone from 2:30 till about midnight. Um, so we usually get a quick phone call or FaceTime in in between practice and when she starts work. And then um, from there, we just kind of take what we can get. Um, luckily, she gets weekends off um, most of the time once football season's kind of done. Um, so she'll get to visit a few times, and then I'll obviously get to go home a couple. But uh, we've just adjusted really well. Our relationship's always been like that. We've always been with me gone during the season. Um, and we've gotten really good at just making it work. With their busy schedules, Zach and Gina had to postpone their honeymoon until this past summer, but their European vacation was well worth the wait. She kind of had the, the couple touristy spots that we really wanted to do, so we did the Paris, um, Paris and Rome. Ran around for a few days over there, kind of saw everything we felt like we needed to see. Um, and then we kind of unwinded and went down to the Amalfi Coast. Um, down in Positano in Italy, and we stayed there for a few days. Yeah.